Hello, and welcome to the Harmony.org How-To in Thrones Notebook video. To get started, you can just go to the repository at GitHub. The link will be in the description. The repo contains the fine-tuned notebook and the Dance Diffusion in Thrones Notebook. That's what we're going to look at today, so you can open it directly from the repo here. Or you can just use the links that are provided inside the files and also outside the files in the repo. And that will open in Collab. You may have to sign into Google and you can just use the Google sign in form or grab a Google account if you don't have one. So here we are at the Inference Notebook. And uh, this is version 0.12 that I'm making this for. As you can see, there's some instructions at the top there, but... We're not going to read those today because we're just going to do a little walkthrough. But if you just want to read the instructions before anything else, you'll see you need to run the setup, which we're going to do next. There's some credits and the change log. So step one, install dependencies and restart notebook. The small arrows at the side can be used for opening and closing sections and the buttons can be used for running code. In this case, we press the install and restart button and then we accept the pop-up that comes up. It takes about 20 seconds and at the end there'll be a warning that the system has crashed but that's actually just us resetting the system so the libraries we've just added are properly installed. You can disregard that and simply carry on. At the end you'll see the the system has crashed message, there it is at the bottom. The session has crashed for an unknown reason, we can just ignore this, close it off and carry on to section two which is setup i'm going to use the triangle to collapse the entire setup section and then i'm going to run the button there which will run all the sections at once multiple pop-ups are going to occur I, I do want it to access my google drive account we give it an account name and allow it and that's our pop-ups and then we just let it carry on and finish the setup, which again will just take a little bit of time and we'll edit over here. Once the setup section is complete, then we're ready to move on to section three, which as you can see right down there below is model settings. The settings and details of each model are listed at the top. And there's a drop down list. This drop down list contains all the model and each one has different sounds, everything from glitches through to goose honks. Today we're going to use the piano one, Maestro. Nice and simple, click on it, we just want to press go on the button and we're off. I've already downloaded the model, uh, but if you don't have the model then at this moment it will just grab that for you. And then as you can see we want it to say creating the model and then we want it to say model created. And there it is, models created, so we are ready to move on to the next section which is sampler options there's a few different types of samplers available the v and k series of diffusion we're not going to talk through all the various differences today we're just going to use the default my plms sampler a very typical gotcha here is forgetting to press the arrow there so we're going to do that so let's go into the generate new sound section this is our final section we're going to change the batch size to one that i'll just make as one sample we're going to change the sample length multiply to eight and that'll make it eight times as long as a regular sample and there's the error sample is not defined what did we do wrong well as we said we didn't actually press the twisty there though now if we press that button we're off that's it we're generating this is it we are there nirvana making sound so enjoy if you got this far you can pretty much stop watching however assuming that you are curious we shall carry on and see how that one plays out this should take about four minutes to do a hundred steps on uh, an eight times and as you can see we're not even touching the gpu ram there just nowhere near so you could probably go to something like 22 or 24 alternately you could have uh, more batches and you know uh, 
a smaller sample size, those two values are linked, effectively one times the other equals the amount of GPU that you use. You could look in Manage Sessions and get an exact GPU session count there. You can see in this case we're just using 4 gig. So we could probably go something like another 4 times that. Maybe 3.5 times that. Okay, I think we'll just skip ahead here on the edit to see when the sample finally arrives. And here it is. There you go, and that took, yeah, four and a half minutes to generate 100 steps of IPMS. So I'll spare you the hour of edits from this point to uh, do the various timings of all the various samplers. Suffice it to say, I picked them, used the exact same amount of steps and timed them. I'll bob some of those results in the link. All right, well, thanks ever so much for watching today. Um, I do hope you enjoy using the inference notebook. There's certainly a lot of exciting stuff coming out for Harmony, and uh, thanks for joining us today. I'm 2Bob. Enjoy your day.